tonight on 16 by 9. Do you know that you could be eating bugs in your food every single day? Beetlejuice. He started in a rash in his lower legs and it just spread with pain, screaming, crying. Nobody wants to eat bugs. Ever wonder what happens with all that plastic we just throw away? Well, you'll never believe where a lot of it ends up. We're talking an area the size roughly of Western Europe. It's two miles deep. You'd have to sieve the entire ocean and kill everything in it to get the plastic out. Fashionistas used to fill their closets with whatever they wanted. Now in this economy, it's chic to be cheap. Meet the Recessionista. It's possible to look very elegant for a lot less. I get very excited finding the shopping deals. That's all coming up on 16 by 9. Please don't touch the camera, that's assault. Talk to us about this. I don't need to talk to you. Can you have me? Oh, I'm sorry. Stand by, Beetlejuice in three, two. Good evening and welcome to 16 by 9, The Bigger Picture. I'm Mary Garofello. Bugs. Unbelievably, they're in hundreds of products we eat every day. And they aren't just crawling into our food accidentally. They're being put there purposely by food companies. Some people have learned this the hard way because they say it's almost killed them. Creepy crawly critters, millions of them. Big business to the food industry. And it's hard to fathom that this bug called a cochineal beetle is inside everything from yogurt to ice cream to tomato sauce, juices, candy, makeup, and more. You see, the beetle is red and its dead carcass is used to color food. The bugs are collected off of a cactus, dried, ground into powder, and then that powder is put into food to produce a deeper color. It has absolutely no nutritional value. And shockingly, food companies have no legal obligation to tell you you're eating bugs. But it's far more complicated than that. He started in a rash in his lower legs and it just spread throughout the day with pain, screaming, crying. These are the disturbing pictures of what happened to one-year-old Zachary Mertz after he ate yogurt with cochineal beetles used as food coloring. Then it started to affect his eyes and his whole entire body would just swell. His ankles to the point that he couldn't even walk anymore. And the swelling and the distortion of not only his face, his body was what we of course went to the hospital with. I didn't know what was happening to him. In hindsight, I was so glad he wasn't in complete respiratory distress, so you wouldn't think of a normal allergic reaction. But if you just saw the distortion and the distress the child was in, the pain and the suffering. Zachary went into anaphylactic shock and it was touch and go for the one-year-old. Doctors at the time had no idea what caused it. But one smart pediatrician who'd heard about cochineal specifically tested Zachary. And sure enough, they isolated the allergen. Zachary recovered, but it happened again and again and again. And each time it got worse. Benadryl and things and the epinephrine do not work immediately for this child. He needs uh, IV steroids and or uh, oral steroids now if you can get it early enough when you know when it's going to start. Nobody wants their children to eat bugs. <laughs> I don't know of anybody, you know, that's disgusting. The same thing happened to Linda Gleason. You have the rapid heartbeat, your throat starts closing up, you start sneezing, your eyes get really itchy, and then they start puffing out, and it looks like a shellfish reaction. She says she was eating packaged lasagna. My mother worked in the food industry at, at um, a place where they prepared a whole bunch of stuff, and a friend of ours is head of the kitchen. So, um, I phoned him up and I asked, is there any ingredient in the lasagna? And then he says, well, they grind up beetles and then they put them in as red colorants so they can make the product say all natural. No matter how careful she was, she says it just kept happening over and over again. And she was afraid to eat anything. And the second time I ate it, 
it was a little bit worse. And then the third time, it was even worse. And then the fourth time, I think I went to the hospital and my throat and everything felt like it was closing up and tightening up. Currently, food companies use terms like artificial coloring or color added on their labels. But there are some companies that call the bug juice something else. The bug extract is also at times labeled E120, Red 40, and Carmine. Anything but what it really is. Well, it does hide the fact that it's extracted from an insect. That's something that a lot of people would like to know about, and they would probably avoid the product. Dr. Michael Jacobson, executive director of the Center for Science and the Public Interest, wants to see cochineal banned, or at least labeled more honestly. 10 or 15 years ago, an allergist at the University of Michigan discovered that it could cause severe allergic reactions including hives, anaphylactic shock, asthma. We began urging the Food and Drug Administration in the United States and our Ottawa office urged Health Canada to either ban carmine, to ban it or require it to be better labeled. In fact, they wrote a letter to then Health Minister Alan Rock in 1998 outlining their findings and immediate concerns. 16 by 9 got a hold of the letter and it says in part, we request that Health Canada require the presence of the colorings to be disclosed by name and source on product labels. The Canadian government responded with this letter telling them they would look into it. That was 11 years ago. So we went to Ottawa looking for some answers. Well, the, the information that we have currently at hand identified that the use of, of cochineal uh, as a food coloring is not conducive to any health concern for the majority of the population. Samuel Godfroy is director of the Bureau for Chemical Safety with Health Canada. He says Canada right now is not following suit with the American Food and Drug Administration, who's forcing these companies to label their products cochineal or carmine. We have been uh, urging uh, food manufacturers and food processors to voluntarily uh, identify and label each individual color. But don't hold your breath waiting for the food companies to be labeling this stuff what it really is. Beetlejuice. It's totally unnecessary. Companies could use other red colors, either naturally occurring or synthetic. Zachary Mertz is now five years old and in kindergarten. His mother Cindy says the runaround she gets from these companies is frightening, since this Beetlejuice could potentially kill her son. Some companies, major, major corporations, will not admit or deny. And even when I say this can be a life-threatening allergy, I, I'm just looking, okay, I won't buy the product or I can buy the product. And, and they won't even, some, main, many of the corporations will not even admit what's in there because legally they don't have to. I hate it. I hate it. Like anything that I do pick up, if it says any color on it at all, I stay away from it. Oh, everybody's shocked, just like the public out here. Like nobody wants to eat bugs. <laughs> like, it's just strange that um, a manufacturer would put this in their food and have their children eat this food. Next on 16 by 9. Something is drastically wrong here. This is just a tiny little track we're passing through the ocean and we're seeing trash every single day. Did you miss something? Watch our show 16 by 9 online at global16by9.com.